gentlemen. Uh, welcome to Sister Elder Show. First of all, I would like to introduce my pastor here. Uh, hello, Pastor Remy. How are you hello. doing? Hello. I'm okay. Thank you so much, my daughter Elder. It's a pleasure to have you here, Pastor. Thank you. Yeah. Um, today, we have a really special guest among us. I am happy. I am honorable. I feel so excited. Uh, Archbishop Joseph Alexandra from New York Church the head of the New Covenant First Ministry Arena. We are so happy to have you here, Pastor Amandis. God bless you. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure too, Pastor. Thank you. First of all, I was uh, so fulfilled. I was blessed when you were preaching today. Mm -hmm. It touched my heart. Thank you so much. God bless you. Um, we have some couple of questions that uh, we would uh, want to ask you that uh, concerns the church, that concerns everybody, including our pastor. Yes. Yeah, here's my first question. What is your testimony for Pastor Remy Olemo? Um, wonderful testimony. Uh, as I said in the church, uh, God brought him from, from Europe. I remember the first time that we sent him invitation yes. to come and join us in the Holy Convocation, which is an annual gathering of the New Covenant families globally. And of course, uh, at that time, he was living uh, in France and Belgium, of course, the uh, EU. And um, we did not meet except the testimony of his life and his ministry. And so we were delighted to send an invitation. He came and participated uh, in that uh, annual uh, conference. That's over 10 years ago. And um, after the, the uh, convocation, meetings, we had a chance to meet and talk and uh, to find out that God was sending him to the United States. And uh, of course, since then, our relationship, our father-son relationship began. And uh, at that time, they were living in Bridgeport, Connecticut, where his wife, uh, Therese, uh, was living. And then he told me that God was actually sending him out of uh, Connecticut to come to Georgia and, and to the glory of God of course uh, we were looking uh, to the Lord and what would happen in Georgia we always had a, a vision of establishing work in the state of Georgia and, and he came and to the glory of God here we are today they become your pastor and uh, we see him as the apostle that is sent to this region of our nation 